So I only had a few friends left. And when those friends confronted me, I yelled, I kicked them out of my house. Addiction is so stubborn. I was raised in a normal middle-class family. Alcohol was not part of the family. Drugs were not part of the family. It was something that I had to do to not be sick. I was just your all-American girl. Great home, lots of friends. Stuff got a little crazy in high school. Literally everything I did was planned around the drinking. I was able to start a career. I graduated from college. It all looked fine on the outside, but internally there was no Margaret left. After failed attempts at treatment, I was so ready for something different. I decided, you know, I, I probably need to go to treatment. I called uh, the 1-800 number for foundations. We're gonna listen to your story. What have you been through? How substances impacted your life? Treatment's gonna look a little different for you than it will be for the next person who calls in because your life and your environment and your situations have been different. We're gonna do what's best for you by doing a lot of evaluation. And that way we can form the plan that's centered around the patient. When people call in, they have a lot of questions, like what happens with my job? How do I get there? We have a team in place that has answered all of those questions. We can help you navigate any roadblock you're feeling. Once we have an understanding of who you are, we want to make recommendations for a program that's gonna not only fit your needs clinically, but also holistically. Where are you going to heal the best? When you come into the front doors, you will be met with love and a team of people who are proud of you for coming in and doing probably one of the hardest things you've ever done. The first step is to understand what specifically is going on with you, and from there, building a treatment plan. You'll meet individually with your therapist and then other specific groups that are targeted towards helping you learn new skills, whether that's cognitive behavioral therapy groups. You may go to yoga. Whether you get better best by talking through or more hands-on experiential things, those opportunities are available to you. One of the reasons Foundations was more beneficial was because their integrated model. The, the alcohol and drugs are just masking a whole bunch of other stuff that's going on. By treating the whole person medically, psychiatrically, addiction, we set them on a path to be able to sustain success as opposed to bouncing between treatment settings. The staff felt more like family. Half of them, at least, were in recovery themselves. Our therapists, they have a variety of different backgrounds to be able to match therapists with patient. It is this person that was with me at midnight when I couldn't sleep who paced with me and talked. Two o'clock in the morning, I'll go down the nurse's station and say, hey, I need to chat for a second. And we'd talk through something and I'd feel much better. It's that glimmer of hope that you find when you walk in the door and somebody offers you a way out. Everything I was looking for, I found at Foundations to give me the tools I needed. My counselor was the first person that told me I was worthy of anything. I was really having a tough day. He told me, never forget that you deserve it. Even today, when I get down, those words always come to my mind, and I deserve it. I woke up that morning getting ready for the day. I was like, not sure if I feel happy or sad or joy or something. It dawned on me this knot I'd had in my stomach since 10, 11 years old was gone. That was the addiction, the fear, all those things I never wanted to confront, and it was gone. That was the point at which my recovery was different than it ever had been. I decided to continue with Foundations with their outpatient treatment program. That helped me learn how to live in the outside world. Lifetime relationships for long-term recovery. That's what we want to achieve for everybody who comes through our doors. We're in it to make sure that when you leave here that you are starting to um, have a life of recovery and gain that life back that addiction has uh, caused you to lose. My coordinator will know when you've been out of treatment for a year because she's going to call you on that date. I think a good way to think about treatment is not the stigma of mental health and going to a rehab, but think about it as an opportunity to learn more about yourself. There are multiple ways for you to reach out to us. You can call, you can chat, you can even text message. We're here for you, so please don't hesitate to reach out. Is it right for me or am I an alcoholic or do I have a problem? If you're asking yourself those questions, you probably already know the answer. Do you just want to stay in the hell you're living in or do you want to take a chance and live a life you never thought could ever happen.